What's up everybody and welcome back to another Disney Colors Review. Today I'm going to show you Agent Axler, which was suggested to me by Quicker495, I believe that's his name. And if I said it correctly, um, please correct me and I'm sorry if I did. But anyways, let's get into review it with this amazing piston cut racer. Um, so this is the Colors 1 2006 model. I, this is the 2013 release. But you can see like... He has that aggressive expression. I really actually like this expression. He has his 3D eyes if you do this. This fingernail goes over it, which means it's 3D eyes. On the front, it reads Nitrate High Energy Drink, which is basically a drink just like Powerade or Gatorade. It's basically an energy drink. Uh, I like the white design going through it, outlining the fire. Piece number 28. So many sponsors read... Mood Springs, No Stall, Revolting, Nitrate itself, Leakless, at the bottom as Clutch Aid, OPM, Gas Springs, I believe. And yeah, the Piston Cup, of course. And then it says Nitrate, there's his gas cap, and he has that fire design. And then on the back, he has the orange spoiler, number 28, and Nitrate again. Nitrate. And on the roof, it says it has number 28 with the roof flaps and the fire details. And same on the other side with like your tires. And the rims are like a, like basically the color, same color as the model, like a grayish black. But yeah, this is the um, 20, 20, 2006 design. It's pretty basic. You can put, you can tell it, it's, um, not as advanced as nowadays designs for the piston cup cars. And yeah, that's basically it for the now since we finished reviewing them, let's get into the comparisons. I if I did have the cars three stock car, which is Phil Tankoats, if I did have him I would compare it, but I don't. So I have the next gen version, which is Tim Tim Trembus. Which is the nitrate version of Nitro Aid. So here's Tim Treadness. And you can see a big difference in the design. Um, instead of having the big fireball design on him, it just has a plain fire over the O on the front. Like the front's pretty different. On the sides, uh, they still they kept, they kept the number 28, which is good. But less fire details. It's only on the number. It's, in the, it's on the number here as well. But the fire is a lot bigger. And it goes across the body. While on Tim Trendis. The fire just goes up and around the number 28. Um, pretty basic stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know which one has a better design. In this case. Aiken has a good design. I like his design. But Tim Trendis is a pretty basic plain design but also very good. So I might go with Tim Trendis. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one do you think has a better design? Aiken Axel or Tim Trendis? I'll go for Tim. And now let's go in comparison to a similar model. So the first one is Ralph Carlo. He races for the little torquey pistons and he's one of my favorite Piston cut bases from cars one so far just because of the blue and red. They go together very well. Another one is Punchy Wipeout, the better version, not the Cars 3 version, but the Cars 1 version. It's a lot better than Cars 3 in, in this case. And a lot of people agree with me on that. Those, are, those were the only cars that were similar so now let's just compare other piston cut bases. Here is Manny Flywheel. Manny, this is the flat eyed Manny, he does have 3D eyelids. James Cleaner races for Violin. 
pretty cool car. I wonder if they released um the violin stock car. Is violin even in the Cars 3 Piston Cup? Is violin a sponsor for Cars 3 Piston Cup? I don't know. Have any thought about that? But if there is, they should release a stock car for it very soon. Here is David Alternator. Racing for revolting. Uh, here is Winford, Brandford, Rutherford. This was actually my very first Piston Cup racer. I got this back in like 2007, I believe. Um, for my sixth birthday. It's amazing I remember that. You can probably tell because he's the most beat up race car here. Here's Clad Shrugs. Leak list, and this is the rubber tire version. And last but not least, the very usual, most common ones, Chick Hicks, which I definitely need a replacement for because this one's very beat up. He's being released um, this year in a two pack, right? So. Yeah, I may not get the two back. He was the king. A very common one, and also a probably not. Uh, yeah, he, he's a pretty overproduced one. Not as overproduced as Lightning McQueen. But yeah, the king is sometimes overproduced. But I'll say the king, the Lightning McQueen, is a lot more overproduced with models and variants. And yeah, that's actually it for this review. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you, Quicker495, for suggesting this car. He's actually a pretty cool one. It's not my favorite stock car. My favorite one is Ralph Carlo, as I said before. He, he just has a great design, and I like it. But overall, Nature Raid is actually a pretty cool car. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.